Hi, welcome to ToddFun.com where I do what's fun. Getting back to a little bit of auto mechanic work, uh, I do that too. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to, and for those who of course look this up on the internet, how do you troubleshoot and determine uh, if your mirror switch uh, on your vehicle is good or bad. A lot of them are the same. This is the switch that controls you know, your up and down motor and left and right motor of your mirrors. Uh, this is for an F-150, a 1997. It'll be similar on other ones. Um, in fact, for this exact model, that's the replacement part. Um, if you have that replacement part, it's going to be identical. But these things kind of test all the same. We're going to show how to do the testing uh, with the power probe. That would be nice because uh, I did promise I was going to do more of that. And we're also going to do a multimeter uh, in case that's all you have as well. Uh, so let's just go look at what we got and describe the problem. The original uh, problem, the, the lighting is going to be horrible because I, it just is. Never mind. So the old switch wasn't working too well. Um, it was very intermittent and I took it apart and it was all full of gook. I got the vehicle used so I suppose someone spilt something in it. And whatever it was was acidic and it had dissolved the points or the, the pins inside and it literally was rusted apart inside. So I needed a new one. No big deal. You pop off the door panel, you, you unplug this, put a new one in. No big deal, right? Well, everything worked except for the driver's side mirror didn't go up and down at all. It did everything else and that mirror worked fine. Uh, so brand new switch. Uh, is that bad or do I have a bad wire? So that's what we're going to go look at. Let's just go up to the to the panel. First of all, if you you have to uh, you have to take your door panel off. Um, you'll have to look that up in your manual. Uh, it's not that it's not that hard to take off these door panels. Once you do, there's going to be a connector, and we'll take a look at. Um, and then these guys, once you get in the back side, you can squeeze these little tabs. You can get in there, squeeze the tab on both sides, and then this will pull up. Once it's up and out, and you pull the wire up through the feed hole here. You can put the panel back on and do the rest from the outside like we're going to do. So I've pulled out the switch. This is the replacement one that wasn't working. Um, I got the cable out by, like I say, dismantling the door. It's got a little clip right here. You just you just push on this clip and then and this module unplugs. I like to put something on the wires. Like this is just a positive um, tweezer clip, and that or you can do anything. Just get that from falling back down in there because if it doesn't, you got to take the panel back off again. I don't want to take the panel back apart from here. Okay, so let's look first. At, uh, at the wiring. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit on this so that we get an idea. What is the wiring on one of these? That's power and that's ground. And this is going to be your driver's side mirror left and right and your driver's side mirror up and down. And this is going to be a passenger mirror left and right and your passenger mirror up and down. My driver's side, this side up and down was not was not working. So that's what I'm worried about. Now what's this pin? This is a, what I call common. It's not ground, it's not power, it's not neutral, it's common. Meaning that because there's a motor up here and each one of these is on one side of the motor, right? This is common to all the motors. So if you, if you provide positive voltage here and negative voltage here, the motor's gonna go like, you know, out. If it switches that and you put negative here, ground here, and positive over to this common, then the motor is simply going to reverse. And that's how these switches work. It either takes ground either takes ground and it puts it here if you want the motor to go one way, or it takes power and puts it here if you want it to go the other way. And then of course this is just connected, this just makes connection to whatever motor you want to control. Uh, and it's really that simple. This, this switch will have a simply a matter of is it going to select left or right, or right and left, and then up and down, of course, left and right. And that just determines whether or not, what, what set of pins you're using. So I got the meter in frame here. So we'll show with the meter first, because not everyone has a power probe. I'm going to change it to uh, voltage, and hopefully you can see that display. And that's just to say, uh, do you have power here at all? And like I say, this bottom left pin is should be positive voltage, and this should be ground. And there you got it's uh, the meter says 12.33. That's my battery voltage. Now some cars you're gonna have to put the key in the ignition maybe and turn it to the on position um, in order for this to get power. But this uh, F-150 uh, has power all the time. Then you want to check to see are the motors there. And what you do is you go to ohms, okay. And now that you know the pinouts, you know that this is going to be common. That one's going to be common. 
we showed it earlier. And now we're just going to look at the ohms of each of these motors to see, do we get a rough ohmage of a, of a motor? That one's 18 ohms. Yes, that's a motor. Then this would be another one. That's getting 18.7 ohms. And this one's almost 30 ohms. And this one's 22 ohms. So there's going to be some wire resistance too in some of these. Um, but then that shows that all four of those up-down motors for the mirrors are all there. If one of them was opened or shorted, then you'd have a problem. Um, you'd have to face it. If there was one that was shorted, you'd probably be getting a blowing fuse every time you try to use it. Uh, but the motors, uh, they, are, they seem to be there. And so that would mean then at this point that you just need a new switch because uh, power and ground is there and all four motors are there. Lastly, uh, let's use the power probe just because, well, we have it and some people want to know using the power probe. Uh, the meter doesn't matter, but the power probe is currently as a default uh, volts DC mode and it's going to make a tone if it sees power. So we just probe and we get the high tone and the red light. That means power and then that low tone and we have ground. Okay. And then you can touch the other ones as long as you're just using that front tip and nothing should happen because they don't go anywhere. Okay. So this is how you power probe. Essentially you probe your way around looking for power. So it's real fast. Notice I didn't click any buttons or switches or anything. Now we know power and ground are these lot, lot bottom ones and these top ones are for the motors and we also know the wiring now. Uh, we can take and take our pigtail, a green one, make sure the fuse in here is good. I've actually fussed once and twice with the fuse bad in here. There's a little, there's a fuse in here you got to make sure is, is not blowing. I, I spent a few minutes before wasting time forgetting that that's been damaged somehow. At any rate, I, I, put, the, I put the probe tip on the, on the ground. Uh, that goes in the bottom if you know how the power probe works. And now what I can do is I can essentially apply power between these two. I can put this at my ground point and this at my power point. And if you can see the mirror behind you, there's the mirror right back here. I'm going to put in the common port right here, that one that's common to all the motors. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the speaker off right there. See the speaker? I don't want the thing making noise when it's, when it's sensing things. So I'll click that button. And now there's no noise. But I have a toggle button here to apply power so I can stick it in here and I can test to see am I able to uh, drive that driver's mirror left and right. Now listen for the motor and watch the mirror. Oh, yes, that's very good. Now because that's just a circuit, I can switch it knowing that you have to know exactly how the wiring goes, of course. I can switch it and now I got them reversed and now the mirror should go the other way. See, it comes in and then this will go out. Now I can test the other mirror. Now you're not going to be able to see it, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the other mirrors uh, left and right. And, uh, and though you can't see it, I can hear it. And I'm going to test the other mirrors up and down. And that works. And of course I can reverse that test and make sure those motors are good. And then here, reverse again. And so by knowing the circuits and using the power probe, I can exercise my mirrors and I can guarantee that my wiring is good, guarantee that my motors in my mirrors are good. And I know for sure now that all I have to do is replace my switch. Uh, brand new switch too. I just got it in the mail, stuck it in. And like I say, the driver's side did not go up and down. So it, and it's in the switch and, and, and I did test the switch. It's just a faulty brand new switch. So I'm going to run and get another one and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back with a new switch. We just pop it in and we'll flip to the left side and you see the mirror back there it should go left and right. Yep. And up and down. Yep. Yep. And then we'll go to the right side. Yep. And there, everything's working on the other side too. Okay, good. So that's it. Just a bad switch. A brand new bad switch replaced the bad switch. Now we got a good switch. So. All I have to do now is because I put the door panel back together, I just pop this in and it'll just snap down and, uh, and, and we're done. There you go. I uh, hope the footage was pretty good. I hope that helps you troubleshoot uh, a switch using either a power probe or your multimeter. Um, if I had found there was bad wiring, I would have had to go look at, into that. If I thought there was bad motors, I would have had to go tear off the motors. Uh, but no, it was a, a switch. Um, so thumbs up if you thought it was helpful and thanks for joining.